Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Buddha is the light in your home. We'll talk about Buddha. We'll talk about our way. Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Buddha is the light in your home. It's 8.30 in Nigeria, 9.30 in Cairo, and I think it's 11.30 in the Gulf, but you guys know what time it is, that's right. By the grace of Allah, it's time for Viewers Pulse. You guys, thank you for tuning in as always, and thank you as always for supporting Khalid TV, the pioneer, the premier Islamic channel in the English language. We've been doing this now by the grace of Allah for eight years. We certainly hope it's benefited everyone, Muslims and non-Muslims alike, and we hope to continue many, many years in the future. And on this program, this episode rather, I will be speaking about uh, some of our projects in the future, inshallah. Having said that, you guys probably see the decor behind me. It's all new. I came into the studio this evening. And I was very, very surprised and pleased to see a beautiful new decor put together by the staff uh, in the production department right here at Huda TV. We want to thank everybody who's part of this program because it's not just me in front of the camera. It's Mr. Muhammad SOE and all his staff. It's uh, our director, Yasser Awesome, uh, all the guys in the van. We want to thank in the control room, rather, in the control room. Uh, we want to thank everybody at Huda TV. May Allah bless them. Uh, it certainly is one family, and you guys are part of this family, which is why I tell you guys to interact with us and communicate with us uh, via Facebook because we are one family. We're not just your regular TV channel that pumps up a, just a bunch of TV shows and that's the end of it. Rather, we are creating educational and informative material for the sake of Muslim families, and we want you guys to be a part of our family. So please support us by calling in to this program, which is 00202. 3855248 or 9. It's your chance to call in and to speak your mind freely and openly and talk about what you'd like to see on Huda TV. That's 002 248 or 249. That's the phone number and we are live, so I'm waiting for your calls. Uh, in the meantime, you can also shoot me an email. You guys should know the email by now. It's pulse at huda.tv. And remember the email for all of your favorite programs because each program does have an email and for this program it is like I said pulse at huda.tv just give me about a week to respond to you because I do have a high volume but I will inshallah respond to you uh, we also of course have the Facebook and like I always say you guys the Facebook is our main mechanism to really talk to you guys and to get, to get to know you guys and to take your feedback so please support us on Facebook it's simply facebook.com slash huda tv or huda.tv you guys uh, like it and share the page and remember to put posts on there to share it with your friends and, and remember each individual program also has a Facebook page so support that as well I'm also very very pleased to share with you once again you guys that we have launched our official YouTube page we actually changed the URL and we added something a, a really beautiful and wonderful feature which is online streaming via YouTube as well not just via our homepage but if you simply log on to youtube.com put a, a slash hooded TV on there uh, it should work just well, very well, inshallah. And you can see, uh, view a live, uh, uh, we have a lot of programs already uploaded and the live streaming as well. So, you know, this is a, a, great, uh, a great project that we're glad was officially launched and, and uh, we're glad that that has been completed for your benefit. So please get on youtube.com slash Huda TV uh, and inshallah that will come up for you guys, okay? Uh, that's our YouTube channel. And please, the YouTube is really important for us. Also, because we get the analytics from the, from the Google Analytics, we can see where you guys are from. Uh, we can take your messages via YouTube as well. We can see, read your comments. Uh, so that way we know what you guys want to see. Uh, having said that, you guys, let me get into this program. This program is like all Greek to me. It's all Greek to me, you guys. Why do I say that? Because we have a bunch of cool videos from a bunch of people uh, of Greek background that have become Muslim. Some of them are from the U one brother is from the UK and one is from Greece itself. So we want to talk about that. We want to show those videos. Uh, so we're excited about that. Uh, so stay tuned for those videos. You guys, one of those brothers' name is Hamza Zortzis, who's a very popular public speaker in the UK who gives amazing, who does amazing dawah work and he's really, really a uh, passionate speaker. He's an amazing brother. I, I hope to meet him. I hope he comes here and, uh, to Huda TV to launch a program, for, to record a program for us because he's really doing hard work uh, giving da'wah and battling philosophers via debate around the, around the world at universities. You can check that brother out online, Hamza Zortzis, and stay tuned to this program because we will be playing some of those videos, uh, inshallah. Before we do that, I want to get into a couple of the new things here. Uh, we have a brand new brother. Uh, he has never appeared on Huda TV before. He's from Newca Newcastle, England, uh, the UK. 
uh, brother Sheikh Mohammed Tim Humble. He just arrived safely to our studios today by the grace of Allah. And we plan, inshallah, tomorrow morning to promptly begin shooting a new program with him, recorded 30 episodes, inshallah, which we hope to air if Allah gives us life in the coming Ramadan, inshallah. So if you guys have been waiting to see brother Sheikh Mohammed Tim Humble, please, uh, I certainly hope you guys are excited about that. And I'm giving you guys the, the special news, the inside news, uh, the inside sneak peek right here on Viewer's Pulse that Sheikh Mohammed Tim Humble will be with us tomorrow morning recording the program for the month of Ramadan, inshallah, as well as other things. You guys, as you know, I forgot to mention in the beginning of the program, uh, every episode we post a question or comment on Facebook and we take your feedback. I will be reading those comments. I will be reading those comments live at the end of the second segment. So stay tuned. Without uh, any further ado, as I promised, to check out this video by uh, Brother Hamza Sortsis speaking about uh, the, had the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, a special hadith which he will be speaking about. So check it out. <laughs> The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in a hadith La yu'minu ahadakum hatta yuhibba li akhihima yuhibba li nafsihi You won't truly believe, you won't reach the status of a mu'min You won't elevate yourself as a Muslim from a spiritual perspective unless you love for your brother or you love for yourself Now this akhihi, this brotherhood is actually not Islamic brotherhood It's human brotherhood and we know this from the explanation of an nawawi he said this is insaniya, this is humanity. And we have other traditions from Musna, in the Musnad of Ahmed, when he spoke about traditions concerning loving for people what you love for yourself. And we have one of the students of Ibn Taymiyyah, I believe his name was Imam Rajab al Hanbali. he collected this, or he developed this book called the Compendium. And there is a whole chapter on this hadith. And he discusses it means human beings. So really think about this from a self-image psychological perspective. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is saying that you won't truly believe. And this is what we wish. We want to truly believe. We, want, we don't just want to be a Muslim. We want to be a Mu'min and then reach the other levels, right? We all want to go close to, to Allah Azza wa Jal. This is our primary goal because we want to love Him and we want to enter paradise, the eternal bliss. Welcome back to The Pulse, you guys. I certainly hope you enjoyed that clip by Brother Hamza Sortsis. Uh, he has a lot of amazing videos on YouTube. Definitely check that brother out. And we have another video which we'll show shortly, inshallah. But before I talk about that, I do want to let you guys know... Uh, what about Huda Academy? I want to remind you guys, what about Huda Academy? Huda Academy is still up and running. Uh, 3Ws.HudaOnlineAcademy.com It's that simple. And like I always say, you guys, uh, you can learn all the Islamic sciences, as far as I know, um, or, or many of the Islamic sciences, rather, uh, on Huda Online at HudaOnlineAcademy.com from your well-respected and favorite scholars and presenters at Huda TV. Additionally, there are paid courses and there are free courses. So check it out and at least enroll in the free ones. Get online at 3ws.hudaonlineacademy.com. You can learn tafsir from Sheikh Ibrahim Zidan, the host of Quran and Death, Aqidah from Dr. Muhammad Salah, Fiqh from Dr. Muhammad, from, from Fiqh, uh, excuse me, from Dr. Hatim al-Hajj, and the list goes on and on, Hadith as well. And I believe, inshallah, we will be adding Arabic language again live, hopefully soon, inshallah, as well as Tajweed. Uh, live as well, of course. Uh, so we're certainly hoping to add those dimensions to HudaOnlineAcademy.com. In the meantime, in the meantime, you guys, while you guys are punching in HudaOnlineAcademy.com and enrolling now, check out another video from Brother Hamza Sortsis and stay tuned to Viewers Pulse. <laughs> What are the rational reasons? What are the, what's the hikmah behind loving the Prophet ﷺ more than your own mother? Now obviously we see a lot of hikmah because it takes you to paradise, prevents you from eternal hellfire, it gives you good in this life and the hereafter. Muhammad ﷺ knows what's better for you than your mother does because he had wahi, he had revelation from Allah Azza wa Jal. So there's all these reasons but I wanted to think about it from a philosophical perspective. I like thinking quite a bit, all right? Interestingly, we only know our mother is our mother on very weak evidence. 
If I were to ask you, how do you know your mother is your mother? Give me Dalil, Burhan, the conclusive proof. What would you say to me? What would you say to me if I said to you, okay, she's your mother, prove it. Prove it, brother. Mami G, Amma, whatever you guys call in your languages, okay? You would say, well, DNA. No, but that's not true because do you have a DNA certificate at home saying, Mom, I know you're my mother because of the certificate. You're going to get a good slap, right? So it's nothing to do with that. Your current belief that she's your mother is based on testimony. Testimony. Authentic, validated testimony of your father, you trust him, of your mother, you trust her, and of the doctor and someone signed something which is a written testimony. So you have four chains of narration in a way. Four chains of narration. That's it. To prove that your mother is your mother. Now it doesn't mean you have to doubt your mother, Ikhwan, okay? But for the Prophet wasallam, we have thousands and thousands and thousands of chains of narration that are authentic. If you look into the science of Ilm al Hadith and Ilm al Rijal, the science of the people and the biographies, we have biographical data for 10,000 Sahaba. This is a phenomenon. So we have thousands of testimonies saying that he is the Prophet So from this perspective, even philosophically you must love him more than you love your mother. I certainly hope you guys enjoyed that clip from Brother Hamza. We actually have another clip we're going to show you before the end of this segment. And I want to preview the next segment. We're actually going to be getting into something that we have never done before on Huda TV. And you're going to see it here first on Viewers Pulse in the next segment. So don't go anywhere. Having said that, Brother Hamza is a really interesting brother. You know, I, I got on YouTube. I check out some of his uh, his, his lectures, his debates. Uh, you know, we you, we always see uh, debates between Muslims and Christians, which is, which is, you know, interesting as well. But the fact that this brother is debating philosophers on their terms is, is really amazing. And he's really strong and a charismatic speaker. So we wish him success and we hope to see him here at Huda TV. Having said that, he's in Brother Hamza and this next clip is talking about uh, the hijab. So let's see what this brother has to say about it. Check it out. So we have social influences that influence even the way we do things, right? This is what you call a social construct or the development of a social norm that affects our disposition and who we are, whether it comes to clothing, when it comes to ideas, because human beings have a need for certainty. And when they're not certain about something, they look for society as that certainty, so we emulate society. So we're a slave to social pressure. We're a slave to our context. We're a slave to our desires. This is why the Muslima is free. She's truly liberated when she wears the hijab. How dare they say our sisters are not free? Wallahi, our sisters are far more liberated than anybody else. Why? She doesn't do it for social pressure. She doesn't do it for her ego. She doesn't do it because other people tell her. She doesn't do it because of her context. She does it for Allah Azza wa Jal, which transcends all of these things. And that gives her true freedom. <laughs> That was my favorite clip of the three. That was really powerful and really honest. And I like that subject a lot because you always hear people say that, don't you? The Muslim woman is oppressed and et cetera, et cetera, why the Western woman or is free. <laughs> so in any event, I like, I like the way Brother Hamza really cleared that up and spoke about that. So definitely support that, brother, in any way that you guys can. Having said that, you guys, I want to talk a little bit about our next program, our, a project. You may have been seeing the promo running Huda in the West. This is Huda in the West. Huda in the West, that is part of our project to try to broadcast all around the world, including, of course, the West, the English-speaking world. Of course, this is a, a financial uh, obstacle, a challenge. So please get online to www.huda.tv uh, and see if you can support Huda TV in any way, including financially, to help us reach uh, the entire world and uh, the entire e English-speaking world, at least, because this is our target audience being that we broadcast in the English language. Having said that, you guys, um, Barakallah for your time. Stay tuned because we're going to do something on, on, right now. We're going to do something in the next segment that we haven't done before on Huda TV. So stay tuned. In a game of golf, both the caddy and the golfer have the same goal. 
to get the ball into the hole. Interest-free banking is similar. With a clear view of the fairway, a predefined agreement without shifting targets, things should end up where you want them. Your deposits are safe, and your funds are ethically managed with a transparent and equitable approach to sharing risk and reward. No interest burden means more time to relax without the worry of nasty surprises. Rest assured, our interest is mutual. Jazz Bank, Nigeria's first full-fledged non-interest bank. for halqa or dhikr especially in the masjid Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will provide us with the following nazalat alayhim as-sakina tranquility you feel like peace of mind comfort for your eyes whenever you're sitting in the halqa in the masjid ghashiyatuhum ar-rahma Allah covers this gathering with his mercy wa haffatuhum al-malaika that was stated in the previous hadith and the angels will surround them wa dhakarahum Allah fi man 'inda don't miss Dr. Muhammad Salah's all-new weekly program, Gardens of the Pious, live from 9 to 10 p.m. Mecca time every Wednesday night, only on Huda TV. Here's a question for you guys. Here's a question for you guys. Whose voice is on the Jazz Bank promo? that I just aired, and whose voice is on the Gardens of the Pious promo. If you can figure that out, give me a call at 2 3 8 5 2 4 8 or 249. That's right. If you can tell me whose voice is on the Jaya's Bank promo that we just aired, and whose voice is on the Gardens of the Pious promo, give me a call at 2 3 8 5 2 4 8 or 249. Having said that, uh, I know I'm joking around a little bit here, but I really do want to thank Jaya's Bank because as you know, our all-new program, the UMA Tonight, which is a program that we're putting a lot of effort into. My good friend, bro brother Muhammad Tao, is working behind the scenes, as well as a lot of people, to really create a program uniting the Muslim Ummah behind current events. We're trying to rival and compete with and do better than the non-Muslim media and be that Muslim voice in the media that we complain doesn't exist. That's the Ummah tonight, Sunday and sa excuse me, Saturday and Monday nights, you guys. So don't miss that. That program is brought to you by Jai's Bank. That's the link between them. Jai's Bank sponsored that. They are the first and the only, the uh, only Islamic bank in all of Nigeria. So please support them. Having said that, you guys, I want to talk to you about YouTube, which you are seeing right now on the screen. Uh, the YouTube live streaming. Three, three W's dot YouTube dot com slash Huda TV. We put this together for you guys in order for you guys to watch Huda TV on all your devices, including these devices, these iPads and Samsung Galaxy tablets and iPhones and all these other phones and Galaxy phones, all this stuff. So you can watch it from the convenience of your home. Your, your home. You don't even need to have a TV in your home to watch Huda TV. You can watch the live streaming or you can watch previously uploaded programs which are also available on YouTube. You guys on that same YouTube channel, please subscribe to the channel as well. Don't just watch it. Subscribe to it and share it with your friends. You guys, coming up next, if I can just have about half a minute to explain this next video. This is the first of its kind on Viewer TV, on, on, on Viewer's Pulse and on Huda TV. We've got a lot of calls from you guys at home saying, Malik, we want somebody like Pierre Vogel speaking German. Malik, we want someone speaking Urdu. Malik, we want someone speaking Spanish. Malik, we want someone speaking all these different languages. Give Dao expand into different languages. Of course, this is a financial challenge. It's difficult to do this. Of course, it's difficult to find the people as well. It's difficult to find the people as well who speak these different languages to give dawah in them. But by the grace of Allah, I did locate one brother in Athens, Greece. By the grace of Allah, I did find one brother in Athens, Greece who's speaking about the dawah in the Greek language, and I'm going to translate it for you. So we're going to air right now, you guys. Check out Brother Ahmed El Din, Brother Ahmed El Din from Athens, Greece, a prominent Muslim public speaker. Check it out. <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أنا ما زم أحمد الدين إيميلناس مسلمانوس سطريس كفما كأنا إتصي 
σημαντικό σπουδαίο όνειρο που είχα σε μικρότερη ηλικία ε, είναι μια μέρα να είμαι σε θέση να γνωστοποιήσω αυτό που πιστεύω να γνωστοποιήσω την πίστη μου, το Ισλάμ στους συμπατριώτες μου και στους συμπολίτε μου να μάθουν τι είναι το Ισλάμ να μάθουν το Ισλάμ όπως πρέπει με βάση τις πηγές του το Κοράνι και την προφητική παράδοση αυτό που λέμε Σούνα να απαντηθούν κάποιες ιδέες ε, που έχει ο ελληνικός λαός απέναντι στο Ισλάμ, κάποια στερεότυπα. Δηλαδή, όχι μόνο να μιλήσουμε για το τι είναι το Ισλάμ, αλλά επίσης για το τι δεν είναι το Ισλάμ. Και αυτή η προσπάθεια ξεκίνησε έτσι δειλά-δειλά το 2002 με 2003, ε, αφού επέστρεψα από το Κάιρο της Αιγύπτου, Ξεκίνησε έτσι με έναν μη οργανωμένο τρόπο, με προσωπικές πρωτοβουλίες, να συζητώ με κόσμο στο δρόμο, διάφορες, με διάφορες παρουσιάσεις έτσι από τον χώρο που σπούδαζα και άλλες παρόμοιες ενέργειες και προσπάθειες. Το 2007 με 8 δημιούργησα και την ιστοσελίδα, το islamforgreeks.org, έτσι ώστε να έχω και ένα βήμα να τοποθετούμε περί Ισλάμ. Καθώς επίσης να φτάσει το μήνυμα όσο το δυνατόν σε περισσότερους Έλληνες και Ελληνίδες. Όπως καταλαβαίνετε, ιδιαίτερα εδώ στην Ελλάδα, οι δυσκολίες πολλές, τα εμπόδια αμέτρητα, κυριολεκτικά, η έχθρα που λάμβανα από πολλούς λογική, ως ένα σημείο βεβαίω, μιας και ακόμα σαν Έλληνες δεν έχουμε ξεπεράσει ορισμένα στερεότυπα και συνειρμούς όπως για παράδειγμα μουσουλμάνος ή σον Τούρκος και άλλα παρόμοια. Η ιστοσελίδα σήμερα το islamforgreeks.org χωρίς καμία υπερβολή, χωρίς καμία αλαζονία είναι μια διαδικτυακή κυκλοπαίδεια για το Ισλάμ στην ελληνική γλώσσα. Α, από το 2007 με 8 μέχρι και το 2013 που α, γίνεται και αυτό το βίντεο Uh, πραγματικά έχουμε βάλει τόσα πολλά πράγματα, έχουμε γράψει uh, τόσα πολλά άρθρα, uh, έχουν δημιουργηθεί uh, τόσα βίντεο, διαλέξεις, παρουσιάσεις, uh, διάλογοι και πραγματικά επίσης για άλλη μια φορά χωρίς καμία υπερβολή το υλικό που έχει το Islam for Greeks δεν θα βρεθεί ακόμα και σε αραβικές ιστοσελίδες που επεξηγούν το Islam. Uh, μια ιστοσελίδα που σκοπό έχει να προσφέρει όχι μόνο πληροφόρηση ή ενημέρωση αλλά γνώση πάντα με γνώμονα τις πηγές το Κοράνι και την προφητική παράδοση την κατανόηση των μαθητών του προφήτη την συνένεση των λογίων του Ισλάμ και βεβαίως της μεγάλης κληρονομιάς που μας άφησαν πίσω τους τα βιβλία τους με τις επεξηγήσεις τους και με τις αναλύσεις τους Uh, πραγματικά έτσι παρακαλώ το Θεό και uh, εύχομαι δηλαδή αυτή η προσπάθεια να ωφελήσει, να υπάρχει ωφέλεια προς όλες uh, τις, κα, τις κατευθύνσεις τους μουσουλμάνους uh, να μάθουν τα θεμέλια της πίστης τους και με αυτόν τον τρόπο να γίνουν καλύτεροι στην ελληνική κοινωνία uh, καθώς επίσης και εξίσου σημαντικό να ωφεληθούν και οι μη μουσουλμάνοι συμπατριώτες μας με κατάλληλη ενημέρωση και γνώση ε, για αυτό το ξένο εντός εισαγωγικών που ίσως τρομάζει. Όταν υπάρχει γνώση, ε, η κατάλληλη παιδεία, όλα αυτά φεύγουν και είναι καλύτερα έτσι για όλους μας. Ε, σας ευχαριστώ πάρα πολύ που παρακολουθήσατε αυτό το βίντεο. Ε, ε, ρίξτε μια ματιά στην ιστοσελίδα μας και σας εύχομαι το καλύτερο σε όλους σας. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to The Pulse, you guys. Uh, before I translate that video from our, our Greek brother, Ahmed Adin, I would like to take this phone call from our brother, our American brother, Adam, who's presently in Egypt. Assalamu alaikum, brother Adam. It's nice to hear from you, brother. It's been a while. Wa alaikum salam. You as well. I um, always enjoy watching... Uh, you know, you on the program, mashallah, you have a face of Jannah, inshallah. <laughs> inshallah, thank you, my brother. Uh, how, how was your Omrah, brother Adam? I know you made Omrah, how was it? Uh, unfortunately, 
They said I could not leave the country because I was not yet a resident in Egypt. Because if I left, I wouldn't be able to come back to Egypt. In inshallah, yeah. you will make it soon, brother. Inshallah. Inshallah, yeah. I've also uh, had uh, another opportunity arise, so inshallah, I will soon. But I wanted to answer your question, and I also have a, a question as well. Go ahead. So, of course, uh, Osama, I think, <laughs> in the Jaya's Bank, and you are uh, presenting the the um, ad for Gardens of the Pious. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, thank you, brother. For, thank you for calling and answering. You got it. Go ahead, brother. And then um, my question was for, because I, I won, like, the, the Huda Academy uh, scholarship. I don't know if the full scholarship was just for, for one class, or was it for, like... For all of the class. Okay, I will look into that for you, brother. Charles. And I do have your email, of course. So I will take care of that. I will email the Huda Academy people, and I'll see if it's just for one course or for all the courses, inshallah. Okay, I appreciate your effort. And, uh, congr congratulations on your family. May Allah bless you, and God bless you all the last day. Thank you so much. I certainly appreciate your call, brother Adam. Uh, for you guys that don't know, brother Adam is a, is a, is a part of our family, Huda TV, and is a fine young brother. Uh, you guys... Um, let me translate that video before we end the program, okay? That's Brother Akhman Adin. My Greek is very bad, but let me do my best, okay? He said, my name is Akhman Adin. I am Greek, and I am Muslim. And I want to preach to Greeks the true Islam, which is the Quran and the Sunnah. And I want to talk to them about not just what Islam is, but what Islam isn't. And this I began doing in 2002 and 2003. And now you can see images of, of, of northern Greece where there is a, a, a mosque, a, a community of Muslims. These images were actually sent to me by a, a Greek Muslim brother named Othman from Komotini, northern Greece. So let me go back now while you see those images about uh, what Brother Ahmed al-Din said. He says, uh, that was 2002 and 2003. And, and you can see the beautiful, the beautiful images here of the, of the mosques in Greece. He says, Brother Ackman says, in 2007, I launched 3 wsislamforgreeksorg And this was, uh, I, I've, by the grace of Allah, published a massive amount of articles and videos in the Greek language talking about the Quran and Sunnah, and also the treasures that Islamic civilization has left us. So I thank Allah for this, and I hope to teach the Muslims of Greece, as you see the images of the Muslims of Greece now on your screen, I hope to teach them to become better Muslims in order to benefit Greece and to benefit all of us. And then he thanks Allah, and he thanks you guys for watching. You guys, all this was sent to me by our viewers, by Brother Akhman al in Athens, Greece, and Brother Othman in Komotini, Northern Greece. So please send me your videos and your pictures pictures and your emails and this shows all about you guys and you can see on your screen the beautiful images of these are home images taken to me taken uh photos taken and, and emailed to me by brother Othman a hooded tv viewer in northern Greece Komotini so please send me your home footage send me your videos send me your pictures send me all this good stuff and give me a call and give me an email uh, right here on viewers pulse because this program is all about you guys I certainly appreciate it I hope you guys you guys can see the beautiful mosque here in northern Greece it's amazing this is all sent to me by a viewer who sent it to our email you guys so please check it out uh, please check out these wonderful pictures please do the same send me another beautiful mosque here in northern Greece you guys send me pictures of your hometown of your home city send me this up this is this is your program viewers pulse you can see the beautiful picture here of a beautiful mosque in northern Greece perhaps dating back to the off the Ottoman period. You guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed that video of Brother Ackman Adin. Like I said, a Huda TV viewer who sent me this video to share with you guys. So please send me your video and I'll air it as well, inshallah. Another beautiful image of Northern Greece, another beautiful mosque, you guys. This goes to show the history the, of Islamic civilizations and the great architectural treasures and intellectual treasures and all the things they have left the European civilization uh, and all of us uh, to benefit from you guys. I certainly hope you appreciate those pictures sent to us by Brother Othman in Northern Greece as well as Brother Ackman Odin in Athens, Greece. You guys send me your stuff. I certainly appreciate it. I certainly appreciate your time. Viewers Pulse is all about you guys, so send me those videos and send me those pictures and send me all that good stuff. And I hope you enjoyed this program and I hope you enjoy my translation, mashallah. I haven't spoken Greek in a long time. My father is actually originally from Greece, so I, I, I can't speak a little Greek, so I did my best to translate it. So I certainly hope you guys appreciate that. I appreciate your time. You guys always support the TV. You guys know the Facebook information, the YouTube channel, all that stuff. Uh, you guys, I look forward to seeing you next time. So until then, I leave you in the care of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Huda is the light in your home. We'll talk about Huda. We'll talk about our way. Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Buddha is the light in your home.